Pulaukatam is a fishing village on stilts, built on an intertidal mangrove area. Many of the houses were painted in florid colors, just like the fishing boats. They are connected by concrete and narrow wooden pathways. The local used bicycles and electric bikes along narrow walkways. There are no cars and motorcycles on the island. The only way to get to the island is by boat. We used to take the open air wooden ferry to get to the island, and to t- get to the ferry, we had to take sampan. These wooden ferries were upgraded to air conditioned ferries as the island slowly became a local tourism destination in two thousand in year two thousand. And Pulaukatam is my hometown. My grandfather was a fisherman who came from Hainan Island and settled in Pulaukatam back in the fifties. I grew up in Pulaukatam until the until the age of five, but continued to spend my month long year end. School holidays and Chinese New Years here until my late grandparents moved to Kuala Lumpur. Chinese New Years on the island was nothing like the one I experienced in the suburbs of KL. It was like a carnival, endless feasting, lots of fireworks, and there were cultural performances during um Japgo Me, as well. I really looked forward to going back to um Pulau Katam when I was growing up. To get away from exams and parents and just endless playtime and everything was an adventure. I still remember we didn't have power supply in the morning, from seven thirty to nine thirty. Occasionally there were Teochew opera performances that my grandfather would take me to. It was one of the entertainments available on the island. I didn't quite understand the story, but it was definitely an event. Nobody ever locked their doors. We used to just go to neighbor's house to watch TV programs. As kids growing up in the in Bulakatam, we used to play in the mud and catch those colorful fiddler crabs and make them race against each other. We catch mud skipper.、Uh, we were picking baliton, the siput sedut, to make snack. We made swords from scraps, and sometimes we fell into the mud while being chased by dogs, or from riding our bicycles. Next to my late grandparents' house was a temple. It was managed by my late grand uncle. Many of my T-shirts were stamped with the temple seal, and I remember once I was made to drink a bowl of water with ashes burned from the talisman, drawn from the blood of the medium. My last visit to Pulakatam was in two thousand and eighteen. I was there to install two pieces of signages I made for the temple.